There's a magic out in San Juan Basin, you know, and it, it grabs your heart and it just doesn't let go. Sandwash Basin is in our third year out of four years in a drought. And in Colorado's classification, I think we're in extreme drought out here. So all of a sudden we were involved with um, trying to save the lives of the wild horses that were out here. Well, we're sisters. We've known each other for many years. A long time. <laughs> we have our moments. <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't get here five minutes earlier. <laughs> you know, it's really kind of rare to be able to have this kind of relationship and be this old. <laughs> it is rare. So we're taking you to Lake Draw, which is the northern corner of the basin. and. It is actually the major, only major water site left in San Wash Basin right now. Part of what you're seeing out here is the drought conditions and all of this sagebrush or winter fat that's bare, that should all pretty much have blossoms on it. Woo. So we've only got one major water source left, which is Lake Draw, so we've got anywhere from three to 500 horses probably using that one water source. And that many horses coming into water at one location is, is really hard on the land and the vegetation. It's the fighting and the stress that occurs around the water source when there's so many horses competing for that same water at that same water source. We've been working with the BLM since January to try to figure out how we were going to attack or approach Holland Water this year. And actually, um, we just learned a few minutes ago that National, so BLM nationally, is going to help um, our local BLM purchase some of those water tanks and help with some of the expense of watering these horses. If it hadn't been for the horses, we wouldn't have crossed the Mississippi. American people owe far more to the American horse than what they realize. It's amazing to know that these animals, these wild horses, have maintained and adapted and have lived for hundreds of years in this harsh, harsh surrounding you know, terrain. Wild horse warriors originated um, to get the fence on Highway 318. We raised $85,000 to put this fence in, and the majority of that money was raised in two months. It will start 200 feet this side of the Little Snake River and run all the way up to the cattle guard on the west side of the basin. We've had too many people that have died from horses and other animals that, um, yeah, this just had to go in. It brings tears to my eyes. This it's, is um, pretty, <laughs> this has been um, a long time coming and there have been, it's been a lot of blood, sweat and tears. And um, to see this first post go in the ground is... Overwhelming. It is overwhelming. It's a start. It's a huge, huge start. It's, yeah. If these guys can survive what they've been given out here, whatever's going on in our world, we can survive it. You know, and I think it's that fresh breath of, okay, now I'm ready to go back and, and face whatever's going on in my own world. It's 
just got our hearts and we haven't let go. Yeah. Yeah.